Hey, how you doing tonight? <laughs> Welcome back to Big Boy Sports. And even though it is sports entertainment, where you entertain night one of WrestleMania 36. It's fucking solid. It was a solid event. I gave it a three and a half, close to a four out of five. It was a solid event. There was things that were kind of wonky. But ultimately, at the end of the day, good event. Good event. And you, we got to start first off, you know, uh, yeah, there was a pre-show match and everything like that. But who really cares? I mean, I think Cesaro won, but who cares? It's a pre-show match. We're talking about the main show here. Um, so the Miz did not, um, he did not show up for the event. I know Roman Reigns did not show up for the event. Um, he was at an increased risk of getting the Corona Chan, but you know, um, it is what it is. Um, so there you have it with that. But it it was an interesting start. Let's talk about the opening first off. Um, it was like a you know a. A video package put together for seeing the America the Beautiful, Stephanie McMahon as well. Um, that was pretty fucking cool. That was pretty cool. Got got the night started off. And then Gronk opens up after the um, long promo, after the America the Beautiful stuff. Um, Gronk comes in. Um, that was pretty pretty good. But the, yeah, the atmosphere was a little bit weird just because there was nobody there. But you know what? It, it ended up working out anyway. Um, you know, because tonight was a solid event. You know, I would have given this like a four out of five fully. You know, four out of five fully for the night one. But, you know, the, the fact that there is no crowd really kind of just kind of uh, the mood had it. But Asuka, Kyrie Sane, and, and Alexa, Alexa Bliss, Nick Cross. Uh, had a tag team match for, I believe it was the Raw Women's, Women's Tag Team Championship. I'm not sure. I don't really care. Uh, uh, yeah, the Women's Tag Team Championships. I'm not really sure which ones. I think there's two of them. But it don't really matter. But uh, it was an interesting match. Pretty entertaining. Um, it was some things that, you know, just didn't roll like, like at the very end. That Twisted Bliss that Alexa Bliss did. But, you know, it was a good match. It was good all around. Then we had the second match, which apparently Gronk made, which was Baron Corbin and Elias. Elias got the W. I don't really care. It really did not matter at all, um, except for that one line that Baron Corbin said, like, how is he here? Like, like how? But it was just like, no. Nah. And then we have the women's, uh, one of the women's championship matches anyway. I believe it was the Raw Women's Championship match. Uh, Shayna Baszler, Becky Lynch. It was kind of a cop-out ending, I'm not going to lie to you. Cop-out, you know, very, um, very kind of meh type of ending. But, I mean, Shayna Baszler just dominated that entire matchup. Really had Becky Lynch on the ropes, and I suspect she will be champion in the future, you know. But it's still Becky Lynch's time, the man. That was pure luck right there. Um, so Sami Zayn, Daniel Bryan, Intercontinental Championship, baby. Um, it, was, it was an entertaining little match up right there. It was a little, you know, it kind of got started off a little bit, uh, but you know what? It was just at the very end, it was just like, okay, okay, this is some good shit right here. This is some good stuff. But then, but then we had the ladder match, and you know ladder matches are going to be entertaining. I don't know which Uso it was. I think it was Jay Uso. But we had Kofi Kingston, John Morrison, and oh my god, ladder matches always the liver. Always something crazy is going to go on. I don't know how many times, I don't know how many times Kofi Kingston or John Morrison did some crazy move off a ladder. It was, or John Morrison like tight roping the ropes. Um, very entertaining match. Ladder matches are always good. And even though it was a triple threat for the tag team titles, you know, it's just a normal triple threat. You know, I understand The Miz could not make it to the event, but, you know, it is what it is. And it was an entertaining and very, very unique and very great ending with John Morrison just pulling, like, everybody was fighting for the titles, and John Morrison just yanks it out, grabs both belts, falls to the ring, and gets the titles. He's got them back. Um, the Morrison Miz retained. Truly insane. 
Owens versus Rollins. Oh my god, here we go. It was going to be a disqualified match at first because Rollins was just being a cheap little fuck. But then, you know, Owens just said, okay, come on, come on, get your ass back in this ring. Get back in here. No DQ, baby. No DQ. And it was on. And then Owens just had the audacity to jump off the WrestleMania, um, the logo, the little, the little, the, the Titantron looking thing, um, had the audacity to go <laughs> jump off the rope, to jump off the logo, put Rollins through the announce table. Shane, there was no Spanish announce table. I would have loved to see the Spanish announce table. Yeah, it has been spared for one night. It is spared for a couple weeks thanks to Corona Chan. But yeah, what a good match. It kind of, it was two matches, but it was a good match. One match. It was all one match. And Owens gets his WrestleMania moment. I am so happy for him. So happy. Um, then we had our truth come in during one of the breaks in between. Um, holding off that 24-7 title that he still has. He doesn't have it anymore. Um, Gronk almost got it. But then Bojo Raleigh said, okay, let me get that 24-7 title. Uh, I suspect there will be something about that tomorrow night. Um, so keep out for the keep on the lookout for that. Paul Heyman was also here to here tonight. Keep on the lookout for him. He's fighting tomorrow. And then the mother of all squash matches. I I said on the Twitter thread that I had it was either going to be a five minute match or it was going to be a squash. And it turned out to be only two minutes, and it was absolutely terrible. I don't care. I just do not. And I'm glad this was before the main event. I am so glad because we got to talk about the main event because the main event was great. Um, but it was Goldberg, Oldberg versus Braun Strowman who got put in at the last second. Again, Roman Reigns, you know, can't really be there. You know, he has, he has a, his body is just recovered from, you know, all that stuff that happened to him a couple years back. But he, he can't be there. Wish he would have, you know. But this... This match right here makes me want to cry because Goldberg shouldn't even have the title at this point. Um, we shouldn't even want it, in fact, at Super Showdown. But two-minute match, Goldberg spears Braun Strowman like four times. And then Braun Strowman picks Goldberg up, does a world's strongest slam like four times. And that was it. And Braun wins the title. That's not going to cut it. Not going to cut it at all. Because um, that was just absolutely disgusting. This, Braun Strowman doesn't even deserve this, to be completely honest with you. This is also one of those situations where it was like it's three years a bit too late. You know, had you said, oh, well, this is well, this is 2017. This is brand spanking new Braun Strowman. This is a guy that has been shafted by the company yet. Um, then I, 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 then I, I would have been more happy, but I'm not happy with this because I don't care. And they're probably going to do Reigns and, and Strowman at this point. But again, we've seen that 150 times. I do not care about Braun Strowman. I do not. And I don't, and I certainly don't give a damn about Goldberg at this point. Like, come on, stop it. But then. We have the main event of night one. And what a main event. What a treat we got. Vince just said, fuck it. Let's go. AJ Styles comes out in a coffin, in a casket. Got the little um got the little um the little dudes in the robes with them too. And Undertaker shows up. American badass outfit. It's shot, this match was shot cinematic style. It's like the end of a horror movie. It's like the end of an action movie where, you know, it's just two dudes fighting at the end. And it's a fucking brawl. This was great. This was the perfect way to end night one. What a, what a, what a, what a great way to end the night. We're talking, we're talking the rest of the, um, of the OC coming out 
with all with also the little um dudes in the robes, you know, and it's like they're the, the dudes in the robes are surrounding Undertaker and stuff like that, and he just punches all of them out in like one second, and it's just like, yo, what is this? Where are we? Are we in the void? Are we in the shadow realm? Or what is going on? And then, the audacity at the end, like AJ thinks he buried the Undertaker. He thinks he did. Undertaker just comes out from behind him and comes out from behind on with AJ on the tractor as he's trying to bury the Undertaker in the grave. And then boom, Undertaker goes ham all out on AJ Styles. Those crazy on AJ Styles. AJ can't fight back anymore. And it, it it was just a great ending, and then boom, what is and then boom, well, just like that. After like thirty minutes, boom, all over, all over and done with. AJ Styles gets buried in the boneyard match. Undertaker pulls off the little covering of the gravestone, and it has AJ Styles' name birthday and well he got buried in 2020 baby so there you go and then Undertaker being the badass that he is the American badass just rides off into the night and it's over just like that boom there you have it night one a solid 3.5 out of 5 I'd say 4 but it's just like, okay, again, you know, okay. Um, you know, the crowd wasn't there, so, you know, it just really doesn't have the same effect. And Corona Chan is, he, Corona Chan, it is just something else. So that's night one. Night two is tomorrow, boys. And oh, dear Lord, we have a bunch of goodies for night two. I am excited. I hope you guys are excited. I hope you're viewing this video if you are a WWE fan. Because uh, it, it's going to be great, let me tell you, tomorrow. So we'll see you back here tomorrow night. I'm assuming it'll be at the round the same time when this video gets made and uploaded. So like about 9.15 to 9.30 when this video comes out. So I'll see you guys tomorrow night for night two recap of WrestleMania 36. Whew, that was a good ass event, let me tell you.